Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video, we are going to have a look at how to create a high converting landing page when you are running Google Ads campaigns. So I already have an account at instapage.com and I will just go ahead and log in now. And I will show you how to create a high converting landing page. So one of the reasons I use Instapage is that Instapage loads extremely fast and they collect the leads for you and you can also do a lot of integrations and personalizations and testing and whatever you need with uh, Instapage. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new page and I will say it's going to be a standard page. So here what I want is uh, I want to collect leads for an ebook. So I just want to show a picture of an ebook and basically go ahead and ask people to enter their name and email ID. So let's go with the most simple one. So there are a lot of designs here. So um, instead of testing that, let me just go ahead with a simple one. So if I click on preview here, I should be able to have a look at this page. So here you can see here there is a opt-in form and there is a little bit of content that you can add here. So I will just go and click on edit page and I will name the page as digital marketing Q&A. So I will click on continue. And uh, now I will be able to go ahead and build the page using a drag and drop builder. So this is very convenient because I don't need to get a designer to design the landing page and then a coder to code the landing page. Using the drag and drop builder, I will be able to build my landing page. So the first thing I have to do is that go ahead and edit the form. So form style, I will see if I can go and edit the items that I have here. So I don't want first name and last name field. I just want one field, which is name. So here, if I just want to edit it, I will just say your name and your email id so i will put both as required field or i can remove required field for name and i can just say email is going to be the required field and i have to have a call to action here so the call to action if i have to edit i just have to go to button style and i will say download ebook because ebook is what I am giving away here and I can resize this form as well. So now I also have to put an image here. So I got a ebook cover design ready from fiverr.com. So fiverr.com basically uh, helps you uh, get such ebook covers for a very low cost. So here I paid around uh, $22 for this particular uh, ebook. So I will go ahead and download this ebook uh, image cover. So here you can see this is the file and what I have to do is that I have to go ahead and upload an image here. So first I will select an image and click on upload. I will go ahead and say from my computer and if I go into downloads, I will be able to go ahead and select this particular PNG image which we are going to use. So once it is uploaded, it's going to stay in the library of Insta page and here you can see that I have uh, inserted the image but uh, the image is in PNG format with a transparent background but it is taking it as black here so you might have such issues when you are trying to uh, use PNG images so instead of a transparent background it has added a black background so what I could do is that I just need to take a screenshot of this particular ebook image without uh, the black background and with the white background and I could upload it. So here you can see I could take a screenshot of this as well. So I just need an image for representation purposes right now. So I'll just take a screenshot of this and uh, probably not the best way to add a high resolution image. But for the cases of this particular video, I guess it's fine. So here you can see the screenshot file available and let me upload it. So now I can go ahead and insert this image. So here you have the ebook here and I will just include it here. 
So um, this particular tool Insta page also helps you build a good landing page on the mobile platform. So if I go ahead and click on mobile, you will be able to see this is how the mobile one looks. So here I can rearrange the items as well. I will get back to it a little later. So let me first finish building the desktop page. So now there are more elements here, which I will delete for now. So I can probably delete this entire block. So you have different blocks here and uh, you have a testimonial section and other blocks which I will delete. The more blocks that you add, the longer will the page will become and uh, the more time it will take for the page to load. So I would request you to keep it as simple as possible. So now supporting headline goes here, featured headline here. So this block also I can delete. I don't know what to add it here. And testimonials is something that uh, I could add, but for the purposes of this video, I will remove that as well. I will probably add it later. So now let me go ahead and edit the mobile version. So here you can see the images and whatever you added is going to be available already here, but you can just change the format of it. So I'll just put the form here. So here you can see that the sizing of the form is like totally different. So just make sure that it is optimized on mobile. So I will put the form here and the download ebook button here and reduce the size of the box itself to fit for mobile. And I could do this as well just to reduce it a little bit. So that's it. We have built our landing page and if you go and check the desktop version, you can see that this is how the landing page looks and it's very clear and straightforward. So now I will go ahead and save this and now it is time to go ahead and publish this particular page. So I will exit the page builder and I will go ahead and publish it. So click on publish, click on set URL. So now I can go ahead and publish this inside a WordPress blog or inside a custom domain. So here I already have this page called digital marketing mastery. So interview questions could be a directory where I am saving this. So I will go ahead and click on save and now I will go ahead and click on publish. So you will be able to see that this particular page will get published on digitalmarketingmastery.in slash interview questions. So let me go back to my dashboard and see all my published pages. So here you can see digitalmarketingmastery.in slash interview questions. So if I click on this link, you will be able to see that the landing page that we have created is now ready and the image is also optimized. So uh, what I will do right now is that I will check if it is uh, available on mobile properly. So I will go and click on inspect element and here I will do a mobile version. So here you will be able to see how it looks on mobile even without actually having to open it on a mobile. So Chrome helps you do that. So, so just switch the device again here. So now we have got it. So as soon as we start generating leads here, how are we going to collect those leads is what we are going to see next. So let me just pull this down a little bit. I think it might look a little bit better with the way the landing page has been built or not. so a little bit I could pull it down. I have to like select all of it, all the elements here and pull it down a little bit. So it's centered. So Client click on preview or just go back and save the page. So whenever you make any changes, there will be an option to update it. Uh, now I will go back to the dashboard. So now uh, you also have to make sure that there is going to be a thank you page uh, which will track the conversion. So what I will do is that I will duplicate this particular page and I will go ahead and edit this page. So I just need to click on this to edit it and I will just call it a thank you page for 
that particular lead generation page. So I will remove the form which is no longer necessary. I just center this. And just say thank you for downloading check your email for the download link so now i will go ahead and publish this page i have to set a url again it will be the same but interview questions thank you so now i will go ahead and publish this page let me go ahead and check the mobile page once more so i will just rename this page from here so i will just say digital marketing q and a thank you page so this is important because when we are running google ads campaigns we have to put the conversion tracking code on the thank you page to make sure that uh, it works properly so here you can see the seo is also a little bit off and i also need to check if the mobile version is optimized so we may we may need to do a little bit of edit here so now whenever we drive traffic to this particular landing page we will start generating the leads and one important thing that we have to do is that we have to redirect the form uh, to this particular page because that's important for the conversion tracking to work properly so what i will do is that i will go ahead and edit the first opt-in page that we have created and then i will go ahead and uh, see what happens with submission so here we have to say redirect to and it can be an insta page url itself so here i will select digital marketing q and a thank you page so this is very important otherwise uh, after entering the name and email id people are not going to redirect get redirected to the right page so i will click on save i will go back to the builder and here you might have to include a link to your privacy policy and link to copyright information also if you are using it as a google ads landing page which i will do in a while but i hope this video helped you understand how to go ahead and create a landing page uh, using insta mojo you can also use other landing page tools most of the landing page tools with drag and drop builders are simple enough to use and the basic concept is that you need an opt-in page and you need a thank you page and this is the page that we will be driving google ads or uh, whatever ad traffic that you are going to get to and uh, here is where we will be able to uh, collect the leads so once you start collecting the leads it will get redirected to the thank you pages where the conversion tracking code will happen so that also we will go and have a look on uh, how to set up conversion tracking codes inside your ad engines so that's it for this video we just uh, created a landing page and a thank you page for the landing page which are like this respectively so here you can see the landing page and here you can see the thank you page for the landing page so after uh, adding some links to privacy policy and copyright information i will go ahead and set up a new google ads campaign for lead generation and in that i will also be able to show you uh, using a video tutorial on how to create a conversion optimized campaign specifically for lead generation. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video.